Hi everyone! Welcome back! Super excited to be here. I have decided to be more energetic and more jolly just to keep you guys more entertained. And uh, I also didn't leave you hanging for too long this time, which I'm quite proud of. And uh, as promised, I wanted to tell you a little more about my water fast because now it's been a, a week since I'm back. And uh, besides the fast, so much has been going on. And also I wanted to say that I um, today, my first podcast ever, um, not I didn't record it myself, but I visited an Estonian podcast and uh, you can watch it on all platforms. I have added the link to my bio here. No, not the bio, but the video description. So please find it. And if you're Estonian speaking, I do recommend listening to it. I'm very happy how it came out and I thought it was quite entertaining. Uh, so that's what I wanted to say. Also, there's been three photo shoots in less than a, in, in a week uh, for my brand. Um, I also handed in my thesis, which I still haven't heard anything about, so I'm super nervous. But uh, yeah, it's been super busy and I'm really like on the go all the time. And I wanted to come here today and before I forget, tell you everything else there is to know about a water fast. Yeah, um, so those of you who have been following my social media and my previous videos know that I went on a five day water fast. Initially it was planned to be seven days, but well, I didn't want to do seven days. I wanted to go back home and just, yeah, I didn't think it was so necessary for me. And also the doctors who were at the spa recommended me just do it uh, five days. It's perfect. Like it's totally enough for you. And, and so I did five days, but I'll tell you more about it, why I did five days. And the main reasons why I went was, first of all, I had, um, I had a few skin problems. I had eczemas from just basically, I would say they were because of COVID and the stress that it came with and uh, the chemicals that I was using to clean and just the whole mix of everything was just not good for my skin. And I had two eczemas and uh, I will put somewhere here what they looked like and what they look like now. If you see, well, you can't really even see them anymore because they're basically gone. I'm super happy about it. It's still a little red. Oh, how do I do this? But you see, it's there's like it's really almost gone, which is amazing because I've struggled with it for eight months now. And yeah, that was number one reason why I wanted to go and it worked. And also what I realized was when I came out of the fast, um, something triggered it again and it started coming out. So I was a bit worried but I realized that maybe I had bread too soon, like white bread. So uh, I decided to leave it out. And as soon as I did, it pulled back. So whoever is struggling with eczemas, maybe that could be your answer as well, because now I haven't had any gluten for four or five days. And it's, it's again, completely normal. It's still a bit dry. So I'm putting cream on it, but nonetheless, I'm super happy with it. And that was goal number one and mission completed. Number two was energy because I had COVID in December and after that I'd been, I had been feeling really low on energy and actually when I had COVID I didn't really have any symptoms. I was just a little weak and I lost my sense of smell which also came back after the fast which is crazy. It just returned and it hadn't returned for five months and, and I also was feeling like I said low on energy, really like getting tired half like after lunch every day and and I was, and I thought that probably a fast would help me reset everything and it did as you see I'm super energetic and I came back from the fast and the first day I sat behind my computer for 10 hours writing my thesis like on the go like I've never done that before for a school project like that is so not me if you know me and that was really amazing and that's why I'm a bit nervous but I'm also excited for the thesis I really hope it'll be positive like result but we'll see and so those so I really like jumped into the end with this video already but uh, so basically all the goals that I had I did get them which is I didn't expect but I was hoping so that's that's a win for me 
But some things I wanted to tell you, which I have never experienced before in any circumstance, were some things that were going on with my body throughout the fast. If you want to know exactly what I was doing during the fast, what procedures did I have, like what was the day like, I do recommend looking at my previous video because there I'm telling you all the practical information, the cost, the living, everything. And in this video, I wanted to focus more on some of the changes that my body went through. So I'm sure everyone wants to know weight loss. Yes, it is easy like to lose weight when you're on a fast. Obviously, you're not eating anything, so your body's not digesting anything. And yeah, I, I started losing weight immediately. I lost uh, about 800 grams a day. And um, well, mostly it's water weight really, because you really, it's going all out. But uh, we, I, it was definitely some fat as well, because I did have a bit extra, but not like nothing too much. So ultimately weight loss wasn't really my goal and I measured my legs and I realized that I, I'm losing and then that was also another reason why I didn't want to stay on the fast any longer because I didn't want to lose any more weight and now a week later um, about a kilo has come back which um, it doesn't really matter because it's a lot of it is liquids and and they just recommend it like it's not even important for you to go on a scale but just maybe if you really want to like stay in that shape just like some like check with your clothes or also just measure your legs but but if you continue being healthy you won't gain any weight so i don't think i have really gained weight per se like fat because since i got since i got back from the fast i've been eating less i've been eating more healthy like i said i did have bread for a few days because i love bread but now i'm not having it just because of my skin and i'm not gonna have it as long as i can I love bread, so I'm definitely gonna have more of it, but I'll try to limit it because because of my skin. And I'm also having like lots of smoothies, fresh juices, still really like keeping it on, on a certain health level. And also in the beginning, I was really not eating anything hard, so only soft, un, um, like non-spicy foods just to ease my stomach because otherwise you can get stomach ache and that's not very pleasant because your body's still like restarting and another thing which has taken some time is to get my like metabolism quick again and i think now it's okay so about a week for like that that's why they don't recommend eating any hard foods that are hard to digest because it's just too hard on your stomach and you need like some softer and and easily digestible foods but back to the fast I, I again for like jump to the end okay so i already covered weight loss yeah i lost uh like four kilos or something which is extreme for me because i'm not really big but normally whoever is like overweight and goes there they lose between four and five maybe even more and that's mostly just fat and and well first it's all the sugars and the liquids and then fat so i went into the fat loss a little quicker because i didn't have that many sugars uh, in me uh so weight loss is one then second is what is really strange is that your body starts um, so all the toxins are going out of your body which means that you're going to start feeling really strange things for example around the second and third day i started sweating cold sweat that really didn't smell very good um yeah it just wasn't polite because i don't think i have had that sweat smell before but it was really i don't want to describe it but i'll just say that it was cold sweat not the whole time but in like short periods i was just sweating because my body was releasing toxins that smelled bad and i was just like that's kind of gross um and another really strange thing was my tongue that was also releasing toxins, which meant I had really bad taste in my mouth. And so I had to wash, brush my teeth like three, four times a day because it was just, it tasted a bit like nail polish remover. If you can imagine what that could taste like, because I haven't tasted it, but I think that's what it could be. And that's what my friend who has fasted said as well. So that was really strange. 
and that was also one of the reasons why I was like, can I just start having some juice or taste in my mouth so I don't have to taste this gross whatever thing because tea wasn't helping, water wasn't helping, so, and honey, none of that did, did the job and I didn't have it that much anyway, so yeah, that wasn't really pleasant, but all of it is like, you're fine, like it's, it's not the end of the world. Third is feeling hungry. So the feeling of hunger that we experience every time that we don't eat like three, four hours, it goes away. It's so bizarre, but after fasting for like 24 hours, I was hungry and I was like, God damn it. If I'm going to have to feel like this the whole fast, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But to my surprise, I wasn't hungry after 30 hours and I wasn't hungry between 30 and 42 hours. So after the first 24 hours, I felt hungry like three more times for a short period. And normally it went away if either I took a nap or had like tea or a little bit of honey. But otherwise I did not feel hungry. And they told me that it's just because the doctors there said that it's just because your tummy stops digesting. So everything turns off and they're not really asking for anything anymore. And that's why you don't really feel the hunger anymore. And I think that was the key element why fasting is actually not that difficult if you're under supervision and you know what you're doing. But it's just like a bit, yeah, there's this mental challenge to get through that those hard parts. And, and when you feel really, I did have moments when I felt dizzy and I had like a slight headache or just really tired. And those were really probably the hardest parts, like just getting out and doing something and like waiting for it to be over. But again, it's really, it's really individual. Everyone has it differently. And I know some people can fast over seven days and they're fine. And those people normally are a bit overweight, but for me, I didn't find it necessary. And I, pff, I went there, I got my goals and that was enough for me. And, um, I think that's all the little like crazy quirks that I experienced and now as I said it's been a week I feel really good my skin is better I'm more energetic I sleep well I have all my energy back I'm really like thriving which is really nice feeling and uh, the doctor said that it is recommended to fast once a week or at least like do intermittent at least twice a week to have your body like actually digest more of the foods that we eat because we eat too much in any case and our body is not it's like working the whole time so we need to give it some rest and therefore i have decided to try to fast once a week 24 hours and actually i just I, i'm on my first hour so i decided to do it on tuesdays fast only water all day and um and I think it'll not be that difficult for me because if I keep my days busy, it's it's not that bad. And it's just that one day, it's not five days. And um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it's gonna affect my health and hopefully it'll affect me in a positive way. If not, of course, I'll change my routine and and I'm not like a dietitian or, or whatever, whatever, a psychologist, I'm not those things. I'm just speaking from my own experience and hoping that people get something from this at least there's always a few hundred of you who watch these videos, so I hope you guys like them. And I'll keep doing them. I have quite a few very interesting skating videos coming. Not me skating, but skating stories. So um, I will keep you guys posted. And if you do like these, of course, every like, comment, and these all help me so much. Please share it with your friends as well, who or whatever skating moms <laughs> who need to know about skating and just life hacks, I guess. I really appreciate all of this and you can follow me on social media. You'll, you'll be more up to date with whatever I'm doing. And, uh, and yeah, if someone wants to listen to my podcast, please do. It's all in Estonian, unfortunately, but if someone wants to hear me in English, please invite me to your podcast. <laughs> That sounded a bit snobbish, but I hope you guys apologize me. Um, apologize? Uh, I, how do I have to say? I hope you guys forgive me. That's the right way. And yeah, that's it for me. I will see you again very soon. And I hope you're all staying healthy and well. And that's it for me. Mwah.